Oh, I had a couple favorite teachers. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Shidiche was my second grade teacher, and there's actually a haiku uh, dedicated to her in the new book because she was the one. I was afraid of writing when I was a kid because I made so many spelling mistakes, and she, I hated that feeling of feeling like inadequate or dumb or whatever. And I felt dumb. That wasn't nice. And um, so Mrs. Shidiche taught us how to write poetry, and I remember where I was sitting in her classroom when she came and read a poem I had written about my cat. And I saw, and we had this great little conversation, this is a very long time ago, but I can still remember what it felt like that I had communicated with words to this teacher that I loved what my cat was, that in that moment I became a writer. So years ago, um, I was probably about 10, 12 years ago, I was invited to give a big speech in Syracuse, New York, my hometown. And um, I, I thought this is my only opportunity, right? And I thought all my mom's friends who used to go to her hairdresser would be there, like 12 people, 6,000 people in the Civic Center. This is why we over-prepare to give a speech. And so it was just kind of my love song to Syracuse. And I mentioned Mr. Procopio, because Mr. Pro I was, my high school years were really fraught with a lot of pain and I was a mess. But Mr. Procopio, I was telling them in my Allen speech, was that teacher who saw me. Didn't, didn't ask what was going on, but just I felt so loved and supported by that man. And I talked about that, and somebody in the audience shouted out, he's here. And Mr. Pro and his friends, and Mr. He was like on the verge of retiring, right? And Mr. Procopio, his friends made him stand up. And Mr. Procopio got a standing ovation from 6,000 people in that auditorium. All teachers deserve that standing ovation. The teachers who see students and love them with their whole hearts, even as they're holding them to the necessary standards. That's what he did for me. I love that man. So I think about one of my teachers uh, from my youth. And I think about this guy, his name was Jerry Clark. He was my favorite teacher. And uh, Jerry, I shouldn't call him Jerry, Mr. Clark uh, back in ninth and 10th grade uh, I'd have a book, and when I came into the classroom, because he knew I was uh, fanatical about reading, uh, he would say, I can't wait to hear what you thought about Antigone. <laughs> and I had all these thoughts, but he wanted to hear them, and that mattered to me. My favorite teacher, who really made a difference in my life, was my ninth grade English teacher. She challenged me to write a story a month for extra credit that entire school year, because I came the first day of school with a story that I had written over the summer. And she loved the story. She entered it in, the, in a district-wide short story contest, and she offered me extra credit if I would turn in a story a month. I needed extra credit in English, so I took her up on this challenge, and every month I wrote a story, and by the end of ninth grade, I felt like a writer. I mean, she encouraged me. She challenged me. She got me to believe in myself. T about 10 years ago, I tracked her down and took her out to lunch, and I presented her with this big stack of autographed books and said, these are all here because of you. Just last year, I went back to that school, uh, and now this was, a, this was a junior high school, so it was seventh, eighth, and ninth grade, and she uh, was no longer there. So I asked, does anybody remember what happened to, to, to her? And nobody knew, but when I was talking to the students, I mentioned her name, Mrs. Postian, and all the students gasped. And they said that there was, there is an award that's named after her at the school. Uh, for, you know, the students who show the most promise get the Hertha Postian Award. And it turns out that she had passed away shortly after I had lunch with her. And I am so glad that I had the opportunity to, to, to bring at least my, my story with her full circle to show her that she had such an effect on me.